Y'all, I just realized while editing this video, I was saying pick up or exercising Jonathan Allen's fifth year's option, but it turns out that we've picked up his fifth year option. I was meaning to say that the whole the whole video. Don't mind me. Just know the Washington Redskins have picked up his uh, fifth year option, man. Hail to the Redskins, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can know if I'm going to upload a video about the NFL or in this case. Washington Redskins, baby. I'm out. Enjoy the video. Two, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video. And in today's video, we have some more Redskins news right after the draft. A couple days after the draft, business does not stop. We're always working. Both me, other YouTubers, they'll cover the Redskins and also the Redskins, as you can see today. Today's video is going to be about Jonathan Allen, that boy John Allen from Alabama, making the news. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL, or in this case, my Washington Redskins, or should I say our Washington Redskins. Make sure you guys subscribe, man. I know 90% of you guys that are watching are not subscribed. It doesn't hurt. Click the red button. Let's get straight into today's video. So as you can see in the title, the Washington Redskins, not not even 20 minutes ago, the Washington Redskins have just picked up or, or, or are exercising Jonathan Allen's third, fifth-year option. So let's talk about it, man. Jonathan Allen, probably the best defensive tackle on this team, if not one of the best because, you know, we have a whole bunch of rotational guys and such. So probably, I would say, if not the best, probably second. I think Matt Ioannidis is the first best defensive tackle on this team. Why? Because he had the best season last year. Probably he was a pro bowl, pro bowler reserve. Um, he was the best defensive tackle that we had, or should I say um, D&D tackle that we had on the team last year. And I know everybody who had probably didn't have their best season last year because everything was just um, dysfunctional last year with the Bruce Allen stuff, with the Jay Gruden stuff, with the Dwayne Haskins, Case Keenum going back and forth, and everyone's just getting hurt. So I, I won't really want to pin that against nobody, but Matt Ioannidis was the outstanding um, D lineman, the best D lineman on the team by far. So if not one, to and if anything any of these guys could be number one for real deron Payne, jonathan allen matt ionitis tim settle and all these guys could be number one but i'm going to give it to matt ionitis because he had the dope most dominant season this past year so let's get into the jonathan allen stats right here to his hit we're going to talk about his 2019 stats then we're going to go over to his career stats 2019 he played in 15 games um he averaged about seven um he had six sacks his in 2019 46 solo tackles. That is really good, considering the fact that he was hurt. He was playing hurt. Um, I don't know if you guys remember week two. He got hurt versus the Cowboys. He he was out for what I want to say three to two games at least. Um, and he was hurt that game, and then uh, that whole season he just was never back to his old self. So um, the the fact that he can put up still put up have six sacks 46 solo tackles it's just it just shows you how much of a dog he is alabama raised him right of course as always we get all about d line from alabama that's just show you something about him man in his career he played in 36 games um 15 sacks and had 84 solo tackles and zero force fumble hey we're gonna get you a force fumble this year and an interception this year john allen so don't worry about it so after reading off his stats we know how good Jonathan Allen is. We know how good Jonathan Allen is. Probably, like I said, the best D tackle on the team. If not the best, he's right on the mat. Ioannidis. John Allen, always relatively healthy. Probably this is the only game he's missed in, in, in his whole career. Now, his career, he only been playing for three years. But that should tell you something because a lot of people that come in the league missed at least one year. If you're if even in your third year, you probably missed one or two years, never can get your career going. This guy relatively stays healthy. Only missed one game. One game out of his three years in the NFL. And considering the fact that he plays in the trenches, that is a good stat to show you that he keeps up with his body. More about John Allen, even not on the field, off the field. He loves to play video games. He's not more he's not much of a console gamer. He's much of a PC gamer. Watch the bio. I'll put it in the in the description down below so you can watch the video of him talking about his his off off the field life. Um, about Jonathan Allen. Jonathan Allen's just a beast, man. 6'3", 300 pounds, man. He doesn't play. He's probably the most, I want to say, probably the most humble guys, one of the most aggressive guys on this team. He's just nasty. He plays phenomenal. He can he can bully rush you. He can use his technique. We can move him in the inside. We can move to the outside. He can play the nose, the D-tackle, the left end. If need be, We can he, he can just be on the field this whole this whole 
um, 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 season coming up in any package that we play out there, whether that's the Nick or fourth or whatever it is, he can play in it, man. Deron, uh, excuse me, Jonathan Allen, that is. It's just, he's just the heart and soul of this defense, man, really. He's one of the captains on the defense. Um, Chase Young said after the day after he got drafted, he went over Jonathan Allen's house and they just talked about it. And he says he plans on meeting with Montez Sweat. So that is just, that's just really great, man, to know that one of the rookies that we drafted wants to come over your house because you're one of the captains on this defense. Jonathan Allen is the one of the captains on this defense, if not the captain of the whole unit. I think that is um, Landon Collins, if I'm not mistaken, or John Bostick. One of them is the captain of the whole unit, but he's one of the captains on this team. To, and to show that you have leadership like that just, just just shows you how much of a dog you are on the field and, and to have guys look up to you, man. That's, that's, that should really feel great. And back to the, the topic of the video, the Redskins pick up their fifth or, or is exercising his fifth-year option, man. We need to pick it up with the quickness. We need to pick it up, get, extend this man his money. Now, the way Jonathan Allen can earn his money, because he we know how good he is, and he had a dominant season last year, considering the fact that everything was, you know, went downhill last year. He still put up decent stats. Now, he needs the ball out this year to earn his money, even if he doesn't, even if he has a, has a solid season, not a bad season, but a solid season, pay him his money. He's healthy all the time. And he still, you can count on him to make at least 10, well, not 10, but probably like five tackles a game and, and throw a couple sacks in there. We know how many sacks John Allen can get. We know how much interior pressure he can get or even uh, outside pressure he can get. So really, we need to pay this guy his money. He deserves it, and he's always on the field. The way he, like I said, the way he can earn his money is, is go out there and ball this year. And even if we don't ball this year, we still need to pay him this money. It should be interesting to see how much he's asking for if he is asking for a lot of money. Now, we're just exercising it, so we don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't think it's going to turn out bad. I think it's going to turn out good because John Allen's not really a, a guy like that, or at least he hasn't shown to be a guy like that to, you know, be extreme with uh, the contracts. And what I mean by that is to sit out or disagree, but we don't know. We have, I don't want to get too far ahead. We're only exercising it. He's going to be here for the next two years at minimum. So, um, because he, he's going into what is his, his fourth, third year. Yeah, the, yeah, he's going to his third year. So, we still have him for at least two, two, one more year. So, um, it should be fine. Now, Jonathan Allen, man, I need you. I need them to pay you, honestly, because we just added another piece to the defense. Why would we break it up so soon? I don't think we need to. I think everyone just needs to be here so we can, you know, have that dominant pass rush that we've all put together, all first round picks. So let's have that dominant pass rush together for the long run for the next 15 years so we can dominate the NFL. As always, me and Boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe, hello to the Redskins. Turn on post notifications so you can notify when I upload a video about the NFL or, in this case, our Washington Redskins. How do you feel about us picking up Jonathan Allen, or should I say exercising Jonathan Allen's fifth year option? I love it. We need to pay him. We need to pick it up. But it's the first step. You gotta go. It's a process to everything. So let's not get too overwhelmed. I love Jonathan Allen. He's gonna ball out this year, and he's probably gonna win defensive player of the year. Bold prediction. Lol. Like, comment, subscribe, to the Redskins. Turn on post notifications. I gave you my option, or should I say, I gave you my opinion. The floor is yours. Peace, guys.